Hi everyone. This is going to be really interesting to watch. So, so long and short, what's happening in the pack or the recycling space is a lot of states are getting involved and in pushing recycling, pushing the responsibility of recycling, pushing um, anything they can onto the producers, manufacturers, or being involved or helping creating systems to collect and recycle their particular product. Long and short, I mean, that sounds good on paper, but who do you think is going to pay for this? And if you think these companies are going to do this on their dime and just for the good of the environment, you're crazy. And anytime this, uh, as they prefer, the, as the as the saying says, uh, shit rolls downhill, this is what they're going to do. Um, they are going to push this in some way, shape, or form, this cost that they're going to have to bear onto their suppliers or onto their customers or some way, shape, and form, it's going to end up with you and me. And that's where I just, it, it's, it's just, it's a state's attempt to kind of say they're doing something, but really in essence, what they could be doing, could be doing is working with other states to streamline and dumb down the rules and regulations for recycling in general. Recycling in this country will work if everybody knows what we're supposed to do. One town or one state or one city uh, has different recycling rules and regulations. And when it's too confusing and not easily understood, people will do nothing and they will throw it away often uh, oftentimes they, they'll they just toss it or litter it. But if they do throw it away, they're not going to throw it away in the proper recycling container. They're just going to throw it away. That's where this stuff ends up in landfills or ends up where it doesn't belong. So point with this is that, look, if you want to push back on, on the manufacturers of plastic or these kind of things, fine. But the one thing I also want to add to this is Where's the push on other industries? Where's the push on glass? Where's the push on aluminum cans? It doesn't mean, it doesn't say that there, this whole image that, that, that glass and, and aluminum cans and that are infinitely recyclable, that's only so far. The point is, is that they've got to be recycled or they have to, and there's a cost to that. There's a cost to kind of collect glass, ship it somewhere that can be industrially ground back up, um, melted again and made into other glass. My point with this, same with cans, but my point with this is that oftentimes it doesn't happen. And so people are buying glass and things like glass, assuming they're doing good when it's not being good, the stuff isn't being recycled. The stuff is just being thrown away. So my take is, is plastic recycling and pushing that onto individual producers of the plastic. What about other people? What about in general? Why don't we have rules and regulations that, that tie together the entire industry, not just dump this on plastic? My take. Remember, litter is 85 to 89% uh, on purpose, intentional. That's pathetic. So if we can streamline our recycling rules and regulations for everybody to follow, um, not just push it back on some somebody, um, I think we'll have better results. So there you go.